Okay, so let's talk about some writing. You guys are doing awesome in your writing. I'm loving what you are doing in your illustrations and how you're labeling things. So I wanna show you a few new steps to try, okay? So today I decided I wanted to write about tacos. I love tacos. So I drew a picture of my tacos. And so now I'm gonna label my tacos. So let's see, I've got a spoon. Spoon. Okay, I've got a fork. Fork. And I've got a knife. Knife. And then there, oh, is my tacos. I love tacos. Let's see if I can sound it out. T -t tacos. Tacos. Okay, there's my tacos. And let's see, I've got rice and beans and I have a plate. I can label all of these things. And that's what a good writer should do, right? But I wanna show you something else. A writer not only just labels things, they tell a story. So writing is telling a story. So this is the book that we're reading this, this week, Miss Wishy Washy's Farm. Oh, now let's see how the author, if the author wrote it where they just said words, would it be a good story? Let's see here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Woman, cow, barn truck doesn't quite tell a story does it so we use sentences to tell a story so let's see how the author started the story this is miss wishy-washy and her farm here is her house and her truck and her barn so do you see how she's telling starting to tell her story she's introducing where they're at and the characters in the story so i want to say a little bit more about my picture Besides just labeling it, I want to say something about it. I like tacos. So I'm gonna write that sentence. I like tacos. And sometimes it's good to say it over and over again. What am I trying to say? I like tacos. Let's count how many words are in I like tacos. I like tacos. So how many words am I gonna put in my sentence? Three words. So say it and then you'll be ready to write it. Now, I is one of our sight words, a word we should know in a snap. And we know that it starts with a capital. I start all the way on this side, because remember, I've got to have room. I, and then another important thing to do is to put those spaces in. Remember how we talked about putting spaces so I can see the difference between a word and a space? So I've got to put a word, space, like is my next word, space, like, oh, I, I like space. I've got one more word. What's my last word? Tacos. T -t -t Tacos. I got my two finger space. Tacos. I'm putting the letters I hear in my sentence. I like tacos. Let's check and see if my sentence looks okay. Do I have a capital at the beginning of my sentence? You bet. I starts with a capital. There we go. I space. I've got my spaces like space tacos. Now that's the end of my sentence, so I've got to put something very important at the end of my sentence. I need some punctuation. I need a period that says I am done with that thought. I like tacos. So when you write today, label, of course. I love it when you label it because then I know what I'm looking at. But then also try to think about what is your story about your picture? What is it that you're trying to tell me? I like tacos. So maybe write something that you like. What do you like? Do you like tacos? Do you like steak? Do you like hamburgers? Do you like pizza? You decide, draw a picture and then write your story. Tell me what it is that you like today, all right? I can't wait to see your writing. You guys are doing awesome job. Keep up the good work. Check for a capital at the beginning, spaces, and then that period at the end. All right, I can't wait to hear it. Bye.